Everything you need to know about anti-heal in Smite. The first and most important thing is that anti-heal is not just for enemy team healers. It's extremely useful against all forms of enemy sustain such as life steal or strong self-healing. There is a global anti-heal of 30% that applies to any god that hasn't taken or dealt damage in the last 4 seconds. All anti-heal effects including this global effect add on top of each other unless stated otherwise. Divine Ruin and Brawler's Beatstake both apply anti-heal on damaging with an ability and have 40% for 5 seconds. Toxic Blade applies 15% per basic attack up to 4 stacks, so 60% total. For tanks, the go-to anti-heal options are Pesto and Tank Contagion, which apply 25% in an aura around you, but do not stack with each other or themselves. For tanks, there's also the starter item option, Tainted Steel, which is one of the strongest anti-heal options in the game, but takes up your valuable starter slot. And finally for items we have Curse Tank, the anti-heal relic which applies 40% which increases to 60% when upgraded and has additional effects. But that's everything you need to know about anti-heal, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.